First we need to go to Quicksand content itself and download uh, three materials which you want to paint on top. So just go through and select three of them and just download and add them. They will appear down here in the mega scan surface. I have three of them already. Here they are. And now we have to create uh, a blending material from three of them. But in uh, Unreal Engine 5.3 there's an issue. So if you go and do that, for example, we did download them. You select three of them and go back to Quixel and there will be this option section here. And then and you just click create material blend, but there's always an error here. It's popping out. So the new way to do this is um, uh, just select first material as your base and then click it and then do the same just create material blend and just then close it and then it will appear under this folder blend materials here it is so we have to apply it on our main uh, mesh here but now we have to open it up and then you have three of those three layers so we have base layer middle layer and top layer so now we selected base layer which is underneath the main one we need to add two more uh, manually in here. So we have middle layer. If we go back to this material that we downloaded, take those textures and just uh, swap them. Normal with normal, base with base, ARD as well. And then the third layer, the third top layer as well. So if we swap them with a, another texture, So now <clears throat> we set it up manually this time. Now we can paint with this. So if you go and uh, uh, under here, you select a different mode with it, which is called Mesh Paint Mode. Click the paint icon here. And uh, by default, it will be black and white, but you have to swap them. So we'll paint. Okay, so now um, they are distributed in such a way. So by default, it uses base layer, so you cannot paint base layer. But uh, red channel takes mid layer, so whenever you select red, it will be middle layer, and top will be green. Blue, we'll talk about layer is puddles, it's water, we can enable it, and I'll show it how. So when you paint, there's nothing going to happen right now, because this uh, default um, mesh doesn't have any polygons, or it has one polygon. So you need to create something uh, or bring in the model that has got more polygons or you need to create it. So in order to create it, if you go to selection tool and just go to cube, uh, it will not allow you to create any polygons. So you will end up with the same thing. So what you need to do, you have to first enable the plugin modeling, modeling tools editor mode. So you tick it and then you'll have to restart Unreal Engine, come back and then you'll have a uh, modeling mode here. So when you create anything in here, as an example, uh, now you can choose like show wireframes and as you can see it has got one polygon. We need to increase that. So we go to width, let's say 100 and 800 and then create this. So we have a lot of polygons we can paint on. And one important thing is that it doesn't work with nanite. So if uh, you use it on nanite, it's just not going to paint anything. So now we go back to, to the blending material you apply it on top and now if we select the mesh paint tool and paint as you can see you can even see the um, green squares distributing uh, along the polygon so you see what you're going to paint on so now if we select red which is mid layer it will be a tree or grass right and you can change for the size the strength and the fall off of the edge here the one and um, then we can select green which is uh, the uh, top layer we select metal and you can paint it that way so now we also have a puddle if you enable puddle layer and select blue blue stands for puddle here you can paint water on top and if you want to erase anything, you have to swap this to white. And of course, you have to select puddle. You have to choose what you want to erase. So you erase the uh, puddle or green, which is metal and red. Or instead of swapping black with white, you can just hold a shift. So now we have a lot of settings here. If we go and paint 
here. You can see the, the edges are not natural. It doesn't look organic. So uh, to change that, you have to go and click on the base middle layer of blend controls, for example. We're going to adjust the blending of uh, two layers in between. So we have blend amounts. So if we increase this, see, it uses the height map of ARD to blend them together and use the height map in order to blend them. So as you can see, more believable that way. So if you increase it, you'll see it just fills it in with all this fades and uh, feathering. You can also adjust some contrast, blend off. You can, uh, of course, erase more or maybe paint more. And then you can introduce another layer on top. But then you need to change the top layer blend controls. You can uh, go and control UV as well, you can rotate the base layer, you can increase the strength of normal on the base layer, and uh, also offset the UV. You also have the same settings for the middle and top. You have base layer adjustments, which is uh, allows you to change the, uh, the, the color, the tint, the contrast of the base layer. So you can have uh, saturation, you know, have brightness. So, for example, if you want to adjust the colors, for example, if you have similar looking um, dust or uh, like grass, and you want to have a uh, similar color of brightness or contrast or, or saturation so that they would blend better together, you can just use those settings. You have the same for middle layer and the top. And then you also have settings for the puddle. So whenever you paint puddle, you can change its color and so forth. So you can change the opacity, for now, even roughness, the fall of roughness as well. I mean, it's all self-explanatory, and it depends on how we use it for. So you can also choose and change the uh, normal or uh, affect normal, so you can scale this normal, also uh, add strength to see it better. And you can also add some animation to its movement, which is awesome. And you can change the color of the puddle here. So yeah, that's all settings and you can use them and just paint them that way. There's more you can actually, actually to make it even more complex, because the thing is that this uh, doesn't allow you and doesn't have any um, displacement. So you need to manually create a master material, create your own and then have the displacement included.